Dear friends, namaste, and that is Ramnik Vig in front of you. Friends, uh, let me tell you here that I myself suffered from cancer three times. When I got the cancer first time way back in the year 1998. At that time, I was only 25 years old. The cure rate at that time was a good 90%. Friends, I got my treatment done here in Delhi, but the cancer came back within six months. When I got the cancer second time, the doctors over here said that I must go for a bone marrow transplant. So friends, I, along with my parents, went to the United States for a bone marrow transplant, and I got my transplant done at uh, UCI Medical Center in California. Now friends, even after the transplant, uh, the cancer came back in the year 2003. And this time it was so bad that this collarbone, what you're seeing right now here, is a new collarbone. That means my entire collarbone had also broken down. The position was so bad that you could put in a pen from here and take it out from here. It was so bad. So friends, when I got the cancer third time, I again went to the United States with my parents. And this time, friends, uh, we went to USC Medical Center in Los Angeles. And uh, this time I went for some research treatment. So friends, I got some research treatment done in the US in the year 2004. And after that research treatment, the doctors in the US were sure that the cancer will again definitely come back within the next six months. The cure rate, according to the doctors in the US, was negligible. They were sure that the cancer will definitely come back. Friend, that was the time when I came down back to India and I got involved in pranayama, food therapy, and meditation. Friends, earlier in life, I used to practice law. And I had also done a course called as a diploma in yoga and naturopathy from a university at Delhi. And I had come first in the university. I remember they had given me a gold medal for outstanding performance. But up till now, I had never implemented that knowledge of pranayama and food therapy, which I held with myself. But now, since I knew I do not have much time left with me, and the doctors in the U.S. were sure that the cancer will definitely come back within the next six months, I decided to wholeheartedly make use of that knowledge of pranayama and food therapy which I had with myself. Friends, I remember I made a set of 15 pranayamas for myself and I started practicing them every day, one hour in the morning and one hour in the evening. And all of them were disease-specific pranayama. That means they were related for the healing effects as far as cancer is concerned. Now, friends, as I was practicing those pranayama, slowly I could feel that, yes, my position is improving. I could, uh, my energy level started growing up and I could feel that I am doing good. Now, friends, let me tell you a very important thing here that it's very important to do disease-specific pranayamas. If I get four patients, one with cancer, one with diabetes, one with heart problem, and the other with uh, asthma, and, I, and if I tell each one of them five pranayamas to do, there might not be even one which is similar. So it is very important to do disease-specific pranayamas. So friends, as I was doing my disease-specific pranayamas, my position started improving. And I also started taking in a diet which was highly loaded with antioxidants, which was alkaline in nature, which was anti-tumor in nature, and which was very wholesome and nutritious. So friends, as my position slowly started improving, I again went back to the doctor for follow-up. And I remember the doctor in the U.S. was very surprised to see me. He said, Mr. Wig, you're still there. What have you been up to? Because he never expected such uh, remarkable results. And uh, he saw my, uh, he clinically examined me, he got all my tests done, and he was very surprised to see that the cancer did not come back. I remember the doctor said, Mr. Wig, whatever you've been doing seems to be really working nicely onto you, so continue with that. And friends, I continued with that practice. Yeah. And now it's been over 14 years, the cancer never came back. I still do those same pranayamas in the morning and evening, and I'm very cautious of my eating habits. Friends, let me tell you that I have also written these 15 books, what you can see right there on your screens. 
and the important ones are the miracles of pranayama the miracles of food therapy the healing power of fruits the secrets of good health the joy of meditation pranayama for teenagers pranayam ke chamatkar pranayam dwara tanav ko mat cancer ko mat win over cancer believe in being a winner the secrets of happiness happiness lies in your attitude and pranayama for teenagers so friends uh, let me tell you here that now i conduct a group workshop every month at my center at gk1 and gk2 new delhi and these workshops are conducted by me every month the first workshop which i conduct every month is called workshop on the miracles of pranayama and the second workshop which i conduct every month is called workshop on the miracles of food therapy now these are group workshops which are conducted by me at my centers every month apart from that i also conduct personalized workshops on the miracles of pranayama and the miracles of food therapy so friends if you've got a group of 5 or more you can call me for a personalized workshop on the miracles of pranayama or the miracles of food therapy friends apart from this i also conduct a course called as a disease specific course on pranayama food therapy and meditation this course is conducted by me at my centers at gk1 and gk2 new delhi and also conducted through skype and whatsapp video calling friends in this course there are 15 classes in all there are seven classes on pranayama where i teach disease specific pranayamas i teach 10 disease specific pranayamas in these classes there are five classes on food therapy where i teach disease specific food therapy and then there are three classes on meditation where i talk about four kinds of meditation techniques now this course is a personalized course that means you can complete this course according to your own convenience and you only have to pay for one class at a time so that you can easily complete the course according to your convenience friends now let me tell you here that pranayama and food therapy are a complete science in themselves and they are helpful in the treatment of several ailments like cancer diabetes asthma high blood pressure blockages in arteries cardiovascular diseases liver disorders kidney disorders bipolar disorders depression obesity and several others now friends you can see for yourself that i am now totally healthy and disease free and i have been practicing pranayama and food therapy since the past 14 years friend let me tell you here that the underlying principle of pranayama is that you are the commander and the breath is your soldier the soldier should move the way you want him to friend let me show you a picture of mine when i was suffering from cancer so this is a picture of mine when i was suffering from cancer you can see how weak i look now friend let me tell you here that the entire science of pranayama is based on these four pillars which are namely inhalation internal retention exhalation and external retention and the, there is a fixed ratio between the four pillars of pranayama so it is very important to follow the ratio patterns if you want the desired results again friends it is very important to apply the pressure locks because these are the pressure locks which we apply in our system to further increase the cellular pressure so that the detoxification of the cells can take place and finally they get oxygenated friends the entire science of pranayama is based on these two important pillars which are ratios and bandhas because the role of pranayama is to oxygenate the cells of our system friends it is again very important to follow the golden rules of pranayama If you do not follow the golden rules of pranayama you will never get the desired results. Now friends again let me tell you here that 
it is very important to do disease specific pranayamas many a times i see people are doing pranayamas but they are not doing pranayama related to the disease they are suffering from so it is very important to do disease specific pranayamas now friends as far as food therapy is concerned it is very important to understand that whatever food we eat that is either good or bad for our system there is no food stuff on this planet earth which has a neutral effect as it enters our system the entire science of food therapy is based on these seven important pillars and it is very important for us to take the right dosage of all these seven important pillars now friends let me tell you that as far as our health status is concerned again it is very important for us to try to take in a diet loaded with antioxidants because antioxidants are supposed to be our best friends again it is very important to try to avoid trans fats trans fats could be very very dangerous for our health friends again you got to remember a very important thing that as far as our health status is concerned free radicals are our worst enemies and antioxidants are our best friends so we've got to take in a diet which is loaded with a variety of antioxidants this is a chart which i made out of made after a lot of research on different different antioxidants friends again it is very important to try to take in a diet which is very very natural the more natural diet you take the better it is for your health friends uh, again let me tell you one very interesting thing i'll show you another picture of mine when i was suffering from cancer so you can again see how weak i was so friends i would definitely recommend you to practice pranayama and be very cautious of your eating habits friends if you are interested in uh, doing any of the courses with me or if you're interested in uh, coming to my centers for a workshop on the miracles of pranayama or the miracles of food therapy or if you're interested in a personalized workshop on the miracles of pranayama or the miracles of food therapy you're most welcome to give me a call on my cell and my whatsapp both my cell and whatsapp number are the same that is 9910178140 i will again repeat that for you it is 9910178140 so you can give me a call or send a whatsapp to me uh let me again tell you that i have over 1300 videos on youtube so you can also check me out over there my youtube channel address is youtube.com slash ramnik wig and my website is www.ramnikwig.com and my email address is ramnikwig at gmail.com so friends if you're interested in doing the disease specific course or if you're interested in any of the workshops you are most welcome to get in touch with me and i will be more than happy to help you so friends do take care of yourself practice pranayama and be very cautious of your eating habits thank you friends and do take care